Here's a look at the controversial Corey Perry goal against the Toronto Maple Leafs in Game 1 last night. Here's a shot of the puck against the post, and you tell me. Is that over the line? Is it on the line? So hard to tell. And this one is super close. It's such a tough call that I'm actually not even going to try and make a determination here. I'm just going to lay out some information for you. The goal line itself, the red line between the two posts, is two inches wide. The post itself is two and three eighths of an inch thick, according to the NHL rulebook. And as you can see, the goal line is flush with the outer edge of the post, which means that it's not as thick as the post, and if it's flush with the front, it means there's three-eighths of an inch sticking back from the back of the plane of the goal line into the net. And you can see there, the post is actually thicker than the goal line. This is a random shot from another questionable goal, and I'm going to show you a couple of screenshots of other questionable goals where, after a serious review, these ones were all determined to be good goals. So that puck you see there was determined to be fully over the line, and it was a good goal. Same thing here. You can see the goal line beside the post is actually narrower than the post. There's a little bit of the post back inside the net. And the puck is over the line, deemed over the line in this case. Same thing here. You can see the red line is pretty flush with the front of the post. There's a space of the post inside the net. About three-eighths of an inch past the plane of that goal line. And you can see here, this was also called a goal. Puck was deemed to be completely over the line. So here's last night's play. There's the puck, and it's tucked in just behind the skate and right against the post. And here's the look that they showed in the intermission. And again, you could see that that puck is leaning against some of the post. The question is, is that puck next to any more than three-eighths of an inch of that post? If the puck is further ahead from the back of the post than three-eighths of an inch, it means it's on the goal line. Now, because of all the snow built up around the post, it's really hard to tell where the goal line is. So all I'm trying to look at is the puck in relation to the thickness of that post. Is there three-eighths of an inch of that post sticking out behind the front leading edge of the puck? And because the call on the ice was good goal, there's probably not enough to overturn that call here. But what I was surprised at was people seeing this and, and going, yeah, that definitively shows the puck inside the net. I don't think that's it either. I would say that if the call on the ice was no goal, then you wouldn't be able to see enough here to overturn that call. I think this is an inconclusive replay. It's about as close as you're going to get to both inside and outside the net. I think this is the closest you're ever going to get to an inconclusive puck position in relation to the goal line. So I was very surprised when the reaction when people saw this picture was, oh, obviously it was in the net. I don't agree with that. I think that what it shows is that it's inconclusive enough that you have to default to the call on the ice. And speaking of that, full marks to Corey Perry for even causing this scenario. Because there's no way. He does a little poke, fly by, and then he's absolutely positive that's in the net. And he's telling everyone that will listen to him that's in the net, that's in the net. So the referee calls good goal. Are you telling me that he can give a little poke, take one glance, and be a thousand percent convinced of something that nobody can tell, even on a slow motion replay with a still shot and a zoom feature? Look at him, he gets barely a look and he's like, yeah, 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 that's in, that's in. He did a great job selling in that and that's why you always celebrate a goal that you think is even close. He earned that goal with the poke and with the artificial celebration to convince them to call that a good goal. But again, to me, this is inconclusive. Are you convinced that this is fully over the line or are you convinced that this is actually not fully over the line either way by this replay? I'm not. What do you think?